I just saw um, Gary Vaynerchuk's interview with um, Alex Rodriguez, okay, A Rod. If you're if you're a Yankee fan like me, you will remember him, all right. <clears throat> the great Alex Rodriguez, okay, one of pro sports history's highest paid players. The reason for my entry is this: he shared something to um, to Gary V um, that. Well, <clears throat> made me think at how um, how a leader uh, how a leader should should motivate his uh, his team. Okay, A Rod was talking about his former manager, the great Joe Torre. Okay, one of the greatest uh, managers in baseball history. He managed the Yankees to add um, how many titles of that? One, two, three, four, five. I think, um, and he has handled the greatest, the greatest players ever, right? Not just Aaron. Uh, he drafted Derek Jeter. He drafted Mariano Rivera, okay? the, um, the who was once the major leagues' deadliest closer. <laughs> okay, Joe Torre um, once told Aaron that uh, during a rain delay, it was a. Uh, According to A. Rod's story, it was a really long lay, rain delay. Pina balik siya ni Joe Torres sa locker room. He puts him on uh, a stationary bike and well, works out of it. Because his reason was this: Alex, you should you should keep on warming up. So by the time this rain ends, you will close like a champion. Wow! All right, no one. No, no wonder Joe Torre has won that many World Series titles. Okay, he is a legend in baseball. Okay, I've seen him manage the Yankees. Kasi eh, pinapanugo ng araw baseball eh, during Joe Torre's time. Because because I am a Yankee fan. This is how Joe Torre motivates um, a great player like Alex Rodriguez. He actually he, in effect, he told them. Kahit may delay sa laro, you have to keep yourself in shape, physically and mentally. Di natin di natin masasabi, baka after this, di natin masasabi, baka after this long run, pa di natin talunin ng kalaban. That I think that was his that was his rationale in motivating A Rod that way. If you're a content creator, a home-based businessman, or even a network marketer like me, you would take um, Joe Torres' advice. All right, your rain delay is this is this COVID-19 crisis. Okay, this is your rain delay. That doesn't mean you should uh, you shouldn't um, do anything to improve your business or yourself. Don't make this as an excuse not to do it. Okay, don't make don't make this crisis as an excuse not to not to take advantage and and improve on yourself and your business or your brand. Everyone else is everyone else is laxing, complaining, um, feeling sorry for themselves, while you you're busy improving yourself. So by the time this crisis is over, ooh, great things, great things come to great people, as they say. So, Twitter, the next time you lax during uh, during an obvious delay, don't. Just remember what Joe Torres said to A Rod that day. I just came across this uh, the street by the Dalai Lama, and it made me go back to um, hours earlier when I um, when I blocked the cosplayer for being too bitchy on Instagram. Ano pinag-ugatan nun? 
Here's my story. I was expressing concern over her last, um, over her most recent post, which was, well, too lewd for Instagram's taste, in my opinion. I, well, being the gentleman that I am, I, could, I just couldn't tell her. Basta sinabi ko, concerned lang ako. Are you sure about that post, that post of yours? And, well, she blew me off like, uh, uh, like I was, uh, like what I said was, uh, was rude, alright? There's nothing rude in what I said. Sabi ko, concerned lang ako. And, uh, are you sure about that post of yours? And, nagtanong ako. And, well, sa inis ko, binlock ko na lang siya. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to see that kind of bitchiness on my feed. Hindi ko na sinabi sa kanya yun. Basta binlock ko na lang. Alright? You know what? Um, the Dalai Lama was right on his tweet. Showing, uh, well, having a calm mind and self-confidence uh, makes, uh, makes, a, makes a whole lot of difference. Alright? If you would, if I have, if I had approached it with, um, differently, she might have blocked me, right? But, uh, well, I did, uh, I was tactful in my approach, say, um, I'm sure at that point she was being bashed already, both on Instagram and Twitter. Was, uh, we follow each other, we follow each other on both, eh? If you're going to um, respond with a hot head, all right. Well, I understand because uh, she's being bashed. Pero ano pinag mo na ng pagbash niya, ng pagbash niya, ng pagbash sa kanya? That very lewd picture, that very lewd photo. I don't want to describe. I don't want to tell you the details. Pasta, it's too lewd for Instagram's taste. Let your imagination run wild. Ganun na lang. Alright? If I had, if, uh, if I had approached her again, okay, if I had approached her, uh, with, uh, with such, which, uh, which, with tactlessness, baka ako ang nablock niya. Okay? So, yeah. Having, um, approaching things with a calm mind, with a calm exterior, and um, and of course with self confidence, uh, it pays dividends. It pays dividends morally, uh, emotionally, and mentally. You're able to think. Okay? You're able to think um, your future actions that way. So the Dalai Lama was right in that tweet. So well, if I were you, I would go to Twitter and follow the Dalai Lama. And. Uh, is uh he's got word he's got words of wisdom for uh, for all of us uh, at every day of the week so that's what I that's what I learned from his tweet and um, it was also a, it was also an assurance for me that I did the right thing okay I did the right thing so again if you want to follow the Dalai Lama just head on over to Twitter and follow him there I just came across an ad uh, on my laptop that says British actress Diana Rigg dead at 82. Some of the um, some of the younger generation may know her from Game of Thrones, but but for me, I only remember her from two performances: The Avengers. She's the original Emma Peel. All right, before uh, before Uma Thurman. Portrayed Emma Peel in the Avengers movie, she was the original. Because I saw the original TV series, okay? I saw a few episodes of that. She and Patrick McNee, the late, great Patrick McNee. And her second performance was from the James Bond film, On Her Majesty's Secret Service. Yes, I saw that Bond movie. George Lazenby's only Bond film. Sha ang babae dun. She was both beautiful and dangerous in that movie. Alright? I think it was the only time 
na oh it was the first time na mayroong Bond girl na sinabayan ang ang bangis ni James Bond sa isang pelikula and she portrayed that really really well okay when she was killed in that movie bumigat ang puso ko <laughs> all right it was the only time it was the only time James Bond was ever married okay yun lang ang naging asawa ni James Bond sa 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 pelikula right that movie was memorable not just being um George Lazenby's only Bond film where uh, but it was the only time James Bond got married okay and Diana Dame Diana Rigg portrayed her really well okay why did i say Dame because she's now a, because before she passed away she was um she was knighted by the queen kasi kung babae ang ni knight Dame ang title and of course pag lalaki sir all right so i was uh, i was deeply saddened although she passed away she passed away a week ago okay ngayon ko lang nalaman ngayon ko lang nalaman all right she was a great actress aside from being aside from being beautiful yeah her acting ability matched her good looks all right si dame diana rig so all I can say right now is, well, rest in peace, Miss Peel. Rest in peace. My mother and I uh, got to remember the time when we were riding a jeepney through to Robinson's Galleria South, pre, uh, pre, pre ECQ, okay, pre ECQ, and um, a few people on the jeep were actually um, nodding their heads like this, or even uh, laughing, laughing quietly. Ako but it's not, it's not, it's something, it's something you shouldn't make a fuss about. See? You're on public transport, right? You can't punch him in the face on public transport, all right? Everybody will see it. But anyway, um, they were actually, um, they were actually noticing our face masks, okay? Uh, because uh, the whole family, okay, me, my mom, and my my special child sister, because we just lang kami, or uh, yeah, mag jeep lang kami, nag jeep lang kami minsan, going to not oh not ex, not Robinson's Gallery South but SM Muntinlupa, okay, SM Muntinlupa, mag jeep lang kami nun, and uh, we, we we did notice some people um gumagan on, umiiling, or minsan tuma minsan tumatawa ng tahimik yung uh, parang sa sarili lang nila naririnig nila, they're only listening to their own laugh. So, we namin. We ignored it, and um, we we were talking about it uh, a few a few hours ago. We looked back at it, and she said, "Nasa ninyo, nasa yung mga yung mga, yung mga uh, naminta sa atin no, nung sumakay tayo sa jeep na yun. Ayun." Sabi niya, ayun. Nagpupo. Ayun. Uh, sigurado na face mask din yun ngayon. Alright. So, yeah, I agreed with my mom. I agree, I agree with my mom. I agree with my mom. And, well, I personally look at, look back at it now. I guess it's a, um, it's a lesson in karma. I see that now as a lesson in karma. Well, if you were that person on that jeep, you were, you were um, uh, silently ridiculing us as a family because we were wearing face. We were already wearing face masks at the time. This was 
let me remind you guys this probably happened in uh, I think November December November December of last year all right I say my mom took exception to that my mom took exception to that kasi nung pagbaba namin ng jeep uh, nakapasok na kami ng mall uh, yun nga uh, sinab sina sina sinab niya sa akin right. so I thought uh, now yep <laughs> they're probably having a hard time wearing face masks right now much less um, much less uh, practicing social distancing <laughs> And I have an I have an inkling, siguro na huli narin sila na mga barangay o police na wala na na hindi na face mask, alright? I'm very sure of that. Well, just goes to show you na that if it did happen, yung sinabi ko na kung bagay eh, inaresto ng police o ng sinita ng barangay kasi wala ng face mask o hindi tama yung pagsuot ng face mask. That's karma for you. All right, that's karma for you. You reacted negatively, but I'm guaranteed you will attract negativity. So, kaya ganon. Well, to to put it, uh, to easily put it, karma is a bitch. That's proof. You incident na yun. Well, I, I got a got a really good feeling na, na those those people are having a hard time wearing face masks up to now. Okay, up to now. Baka siguro pag hindi nakatingin yung pulis, hindi sila mag face mask. The next time you see someone in a face mask, all right? You might as well wear one yourself. All right? These I don't care what country you're in. I do not care what country you're in or what those conspiracy theorists say. Wearing a face mask is not only for COVID-19. It is also for pollution. That is why we were wearing... That is why as early as... Well... 2016? Okay, uh, tw right after... Right after my dad passed away, we made it a habit to wear face masks. When we were... When we're out on the street, at least. Right? So, we really made it a point as a family to to wear face masks while we're out on the street. Kasi, well, uh, wala kami sakit. Pero, how sure can we be kung, kung kasing healthy? Ako, how can I be sure na kasing healthy mo ako? Yun ang mentality namin. That should also be your mentality when you're wearing a face mask. So yeah, that is a um, that would probably be a lesson in karma, right? Proof that karma is a bitch, Twitch. Remember that.